Now that the darkroom is dialed in, let's get to know our screens. The screens you use matter. There's lots of variations, and you'll use different types of screens depending on the job. But what are the differences? Let's find out. Mesh count is super important when picking a screen. Since this is what you'll be printing through, it needs to be just right. Mesh count is a measure of how many threads cross each other per square inch of the screen. For example, a 60 mesh screen would have 60 threads crossing per square inch. The higher the mesh count, the finer or smaller the holes are in the screen. The rule of thumb is to use low mesh counts for thicker inks, low detail designs, and or to get a thicker deposit. Use high mesh counts for higher detail designs or a thin deposit of ink. The screen should resolve maximum detail while still letting enough ink through the screen to get a good deposit. When choosing screens for a job, consider how detailed the design is. If the print is going to have a lot of detail or halftones, use a higher mesh count above 156. High mesh counts are also great for printing water-based inks because the ink deposit is much thinner than Plastisol. Screens around 230 are great for water-based inks and fine detail. The most standard mesh count is 156. It's the choice of mesh for many jobs because it's right in the sweet spot. 156 mesh can hold some detail, but also lays down a thick enough deposit. It's perfect for printing an underbase, block text letters, and larger spot color designs. 156 is a great middle of the road mesh and is a great starting point for most screen printers. If the design you're printing has low detail or you're printing with a metallic, shimmer, or thick white ink, use mesh counts from 110 to 156. You probably won't need a mesh count 60 or below unless you are printing with glitter inks. Here are some issues you may see if you're using the wrong mesh count. For example, if you choose a mesh count that's too low, you can deposit too much ink onto the shirt and smash out the design. On the other hand, when printing with a mesh count that's too high, not enough ink will be pushed through the screen and the print will look faded. You'll have to work a lot harder to get a good ink deposit on the shirt. You may have noticed that some screens have yellow mesh while others have white mesh. Why is that? Most mesh counts 156 and under will be white. 180 mesh counts and above are almost all yellow mesh. Since lower mesh counts tend to have a thicker emulsion coating, they typically have white meshes to help speed up the exposing process. White mesh handles light differently than yellow mesh. Yellow is a bit more precise and can hold a lot more detail when exposed. Yellow mesh causes little to no light scattering, so you keep the detail of the image. The trade-off is it takes 30% longer to expose. Novice printers tend to stick to white mesh as it's perfect for learning the exposure process. For this job, we're using 156 white mesh. We've chosen the screens for the job. Now let's prepare them for coating and exposure. Welcome to how to screen print with a kit, the 150 edition. In this free course, I'll be walking you through every step of the process, from darkroom setup to reclaim. I'll be using the Riley Hopkins 150 kit. It has everything you need to start a screen printing hobby or side hustle. Jump in today and get screen printing tomorrow.